I'm Lee Chisholm, uh, 350 Maine. We're here today, Representative Golden, in front of your office, to ask you to vote for the Build Back Better, Pla Better Act. Do so, and through the Act's powerful climate provisions, you put this country squarely on the road to a 45% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions by 2030. That's the goal of the Paris Climate Accord. That's the goal of the IPCC report. That is the way to stay within a one and a half degree Celsius temperature rise and thereby avert worldwide climate catastrophe. Amazingly, the Build Back Better Act would be the first real climate legislation our Congress has ever passed. It has had innumerable opportunities. Think about it. In 2005, Hurricane Katrina slammed into New Orleans, crumbled the levees, and killed 2,000, over 2,000, mostly black, brown, and poor people. That was an opportunity. Congress didn't do anything. In 2012, Hurricane Sandy shut out the lights in Manhattan and engulfed the subway tunnels, devastated whole neighborhoods in New York and New Jersey with massive flooding. That was an opportunity. Again, Congress did nothing. In 2017, Hurricane Harvey dumped over four feet of rain in parts of Texas, a single rain event dumping that much rain. Another opportunity. Congress did nothing. The list, of course, could go on. Wildfires, floods, massive hail and wind storms, tornadoes, hurricanes, droughts, freak deep freezes. There have been over 200 climate-related disasters costing more than a billion dollars each in damage since the year of Hurricane Katrina 2005. That's easily 200 opportunities for Congress to have done something. Congress did nothing. We have just now completed, standing here in Lewiston in October of 2021, the hottest summer ever recorded in the United States. The prior year, 2020, witnessed more major weather disasters than in any year before, 22 of them to be exact, and things are getting still worse. This past June, a billion intertidal sea creatures perished in the sun at low tide during an unheard of Pacific Northwest heat wave, which also killed hundreds of human beings. This August, people drowned in their basement apartments during flash floods in New York City. A first ever official water shortage was also declared in August by federal regula regulators for the Colorado River, where water levels in the country's biggest reservoir, Lake Mead, have dropped 140 feet. Fires in the Arctic, the Arctic of Siberia, have been raging throughout the summer. Last winter, a deep freeze in Texas crippled its electric grid, freezing people to death. A massive rainstorm and the highest levels of the Greenland ice shelf, first rain there ever seen, fell this summer for the first time. And smoke, also for the first time, has drifted over the geographic North Pole. The Build Back Better Act is a unique opportunity for all of us. Its climate provisions are strong enough to set us on the road to achieving the goals of the Paris Climate Accord. The slim Democratic majority of which you, Representative Golden, are a part, needs every voice. It needs your voice. If we fail to pass the Build Back Better Act, two immediate consequences seem likely to me. First, at the COP26 climate conference set, take, set to take place this November in Glasgow, Scotland, a vitally significant international conference that has been called humanity's last best hope, will leave the nations of the world looking at us and thinking, well, you didn't do anything to save the world's climate. 
Why should we? And without our participation, they well may not. Second, throughout the 2022 election season, which will get into high gear immediately after Christmas, a climate-denying Republican Party will point to the Democrats and it will say, see, they're a feckless lot. They didn't do anything at all. Vote for us. And it seems more likely than not that if the Build Back Better Act does not pass, people will vote for them. And then for another two years, four years, six years, who knows how so ma ever many years, Congress will again do nothing. And it will be just too late. Representative Golden, we need your vote. Humanity needs your vote. Our children need your vote. All of nature needs your vote. We are counting on you to step forward in these next few weeks.